At Crafty Hackers, we've got ways to turn your comics into awesome decorations. If you're new here, hit that notification bell to be the first to see our new videos. Let's get started. Comics letter. Grab a letter-shaped box and get ready to make it super cool. Cut pieces from your comics in all different shapes and sizes. Paint Mod Podge onto the box, then stick on your artwork. Paint the Mod Podge on again and wipe with a sponge. Assort the comic book art however you want, then Mod Podge it together. Keep going until you've got the whole letter covered. It's an M for Marvel. Super Headband. For this craft, you'll need some red, yellow, and black felt, and a plain headband. Measure the headband on a piece of paper, then draw your design. Pin your design onto the yellow felt. Trace it with a pen or pencil. Cut it out with scissors. Now, pin the yellow design onto the black felt. Cut out a black outline around the yellow design. Use the original template and write your favorite superhero word inside. Trace it onto the red felt and carefully cut out the word. Outline the letters with a black sharpie to give the letters dimension. Apply hot glue to the back of the word and glue it onto your action bubble. Glue the yellow felt to the black felt. And then glue the whole thing to your headband. Wham! What a cool knockout! Clock. Draw a circle on a piece of cardboard and cut it out. Grab your clippings from your comics and Mod Podge it up. Cover the whole circle with the comic book art. Paint over the art with the Mod Podge to complete the process and wipe it with a sponge. Cut away the extra art that's hanging over with an X-Acto knife. Measure and mark a hole in the center on the back of the clock face. Widen the hole with an ice pick or sharp tool. On a piece of yellow felt, measure and mark what you see here. Then cut into triangle shapes using the opposite marks as a guide. Mark the spots where 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 6 o'clock will be. Glue the yellow felt triangles to the back of the clock like this. Insert your clock device through the hole in the back. Add the hands to the front. Now you'll always be on time to catch the bad guys. Phone case. Let's turn this ordinary phone case into something extraordinary. Snip out your favorite comic book art. Apply the art to your phone case with Mod Podge. Keep going until the whole case is covered. Then apply another coat of Mod Podge and wipe it with a sponge. Cut away the extra art with a box cutter or X-Acto knife. Cut out the hole for the camera. Snap it on and enjoy your new superhero phone. Drawing Iron Man. Ever wondered how to draw Iron Man? Well, we're gonna show you. Use a pen to draw an oval that tapers at the jawline. Draw a straight line at the chin. Trace over it with a thicker marker. Make a wide U at the top of the head. Draw the sides as it is shown here. Make a line across the center that tapers up. Then connect that line to the U at the top with two lines that angle out at the bottom. Draw two lines down from the cheek lines and mark the chin. Now for the body. Start with the shoulders, chest, and arms. Don't forget the arc reactor. At the edge of his right shoulder, draw his hand facing down. Continue with the rest of the torso and down to the legs. Feel free to pause this video to get all the details of the drawing.
trace over your drawing with a thicker pen or marker. Time to color him in. Use markers to give him the perfect Iron Man colors. The front of his mask is yellow or gold. Add some gray to the knees and around the arc reactors. Trace the eyes with gray as well. Add some gold to the yellow to make it look shiny. Now color in the rest of the suit with red. Trace over the red to add dimension in these key spots. Now add the blue in his eyes and the arc reactors. Congratulations, you just drew Iron Man. Comic Book Belt First, cut out pieces of your favorite art from a comic book and get your belt ready. Once you've got your art pieces cut out, grab some Mod Podge. Use a paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge to your belt. Then stick the comic book pieces on. Paint over the art pieces and add more on top. Paint the top layer and wipe with a sponge. Keep applying the art until the whole belt is covered. Cut off the excess pieces from the sides. Poke through the belt holes with a small pair of scissors and check out your new superhero belt. Looks cool, doesn't it? Avengers Mason Jars Paint the inside of a jar with yellow paint. Then paint the inside of another jar with a combo of blue and white paint. And do another jar with a combo of red and white paint. Print and cut out some Avengers logos. Paint a bit of Mod Podge on the outside of the jar. Attach the logo and paint over it with another layer of Mod Podge. Wipe it with a sponge and you've got unique Avengers jars. Drop candles inside and watch them glow. Pretty awesome, huh? Comics Bookmark. Use a ruler to trace out a section of construction paper. some comic book art. Mod Podge the art onto a strip of paper. Apply another layer until the whole bookmark is covered. Then flip it over and do the same for the other side. Cut away the excess from the sides and you've got yourself a one-of-a-kind superhero bookmark. And those are our 10 recycled decoration crafts from comics. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. 
please subscribe to our channel for more hacks. See you later.